Hey, what is cracking, everybody? It's Avery. Before I tell you what today's video is, if you didn't already read the title, as most of you know, I have a sister. Her name is Aspen. She is a YouTuber as well. Um, she kind of does like bloggerish, like mom type content. She's a blogger mom now, and she also has her own clothing store. She's had her own clothing store for I think it's like four years now, which is nuts. She has an online clothing store. My mom pretty much runs like the whole entire thing. So it's been very like prevalent in my life for a while, but I never really like wear it because it's not my style I say as this top is literally from Luke and Gray <laughs> but yeah her clothing store Luke and Gray it's not super like my style y'all know me and Aspen if you like keep up with both of our stuff we just dress super super differently we have very different um, tastes and styles so because of that I thought um, for today's video it would be really fun to do like an honest review of my sister's clothing store I just went um, I'm sitting in like the parking lot of the warehouse where they keep everything I just went in and picked got some stuff I got some footage of that and yeah I'm gonna try out or I'm gonna try on a bunch of different stuff and this also is like pretty out of my comfort zone because a lot of the stuff I picked it's stuff I wouldn't usually wear not that it's like super super like out there crazy items but it's just not really stuff that I would like pick out and wear but today that's what, exactly what I'm doing yeah shout out to Aspen for like letting me do this video and go in and pick some stuff out it's so hot in my car right now so um I'm gonna roll the clips of me trying to get on that my mom filmed and then I'm gonna turn on my car and go home now. Enjoy! My makeup today kind of looks snatched. Hi. Oh mm, my word. That's <laughs> not good. <laughs> so, as you guys know, this is my mom. She basically runs this whole place. I feel like I shouldn't be eating while you're. Yeah, maybe. Okay, hold on. I just put What's your candy. job? <laughs> I run Luke and Gray. I'm the COO of Luke and Gray. So, I oversee the whole brand. Yeah, so you're like right under Aspen. Yeah. Okay. Okay, nope. thanks. <laughs> so my mom's gonna help me pick out some stuff. We're gonna to, pick out some stuff today. Uh try on and test. Okay. Now you hold it. I'm going to apologize for any like weird lighting changes. Weather in Utah, it's very bipolar. It's literally always changing. It was raining earlier and now it's really sunny. So I'm back at home. Um, I'm ready to try some stuff on. So let's start. The first thing I want to start with is this pink set because it's the first thing that caught my eye. So this pink set is called the Glass Pastel Set. It's uh, $68 and I got it in the small. $68 for like a top and bottom, not too bad. Honestly, I feel like fast fashion has kind of warped people's perception of like how much clothes should cost. Not saying that everyone can afford like a $30, $35 top, but I just feel like that's like somewhat normal. I don't know, I could be wrong. And I know it's not super realistic for everyone to like buy super sustainable or um, even just buy like a $30 top. I don't know. That's just kind of been my observation. Anyways, I'll shut up. Um, the first thing I kind of noticed about it is it's very, very thick. Obviously, this is like a very summery outfit, but with how thick this material is, I feel like this would be better for like spring-ish when it's still like a little bit cool because it's very thick. Maybe I'm just saying that because I literally sweat all the time. Like even when I'm not hot, I'm literally still dripping in sweat. I don't know why something is like not right with me. This is super cute. This gives like 
Clueless vibes. I don't know. Is that the movie? I've never seen that before. So, but y'all know I've been in touch with my feminine girly side recently. I've been loving skirts and crop tops, and I really like this. I think this is really cute. I would probably style this with like some white chunky tennis shoes, maybe, or like some platforms if I'm really feeling that. I don't know. I kind of be feeling myself in this. I think the high rise kind of like really brings in my waist, makes me look kind of snatched. I would give this a solid like 8 out of 10. It's not even that I don't like about it. I just get really nervous wearing like long sleeves or like thick things in the summer because I literally sweat so bad. But if you are a normal person and don't have like a profuse sweating problem, you're probably going to be fine. I really like this. I think it's super flattering. Makes my butt look good. Moving on, this is the second thing. This is the indigo dress. This is $74 in a size small. I actually really, really like this. I really like how the fabric in the front is like layered. I like how this is stretchy. This is super, super light, which I love. I really like the pattern. It's like kind of like a blue, like leopard print. I got this in a size small. This feels like really good quality. It kind of reminds me of this dress that I've seen on Pinterest. I don't know. I just think that this is super flattering. I like how there's like a little bit of like a puff on the sleeve, but not too much because when it's too much, I feel like it just doesn't look flattering on me. I seriously think I would give this like a 10 out of 10. Like there's really nothing that I don't like about it. I think it's super cute. Gives like Pinterest girl vibes. It's a really nice length. It's not too short to the point where I have to like worry about like like if I sit down, my butt is gonna be on like whatever I sit on, you know? I don't know, I think this dress will last me for like a really long time and it's super cute. I love the baby blue. So yeah, I think I already rated this a 10 out of 10 because I genuinely really, really like this. about swimsuits i have been just searching for swimsuits i have like i think two swimsuits that i own swimsuits are so hard to find because you're either looking on places like shein where they're like 11 dollars, they're really cute but they're horribly like very unethically made or you're looking at sustainable swimsuits where it's like a hundred dollars for a top i don't understand the pricing of swimsuits when they're like so much money because it's like it's barely any fabric like i genuinely don't understand so these come separate they do not come together they are 43 dollars each so total 86 this is an 86 dollar swimsuit that is a lot but compared to what i have been seeing on like sustainable websites it's not as much as those so I guess that's good, but the pattern of this swimsuit is really cute. The only thing is this is like very far apart, which my mom said when she was packaging it up for me, AKA putting it in that. She said, this is like very far apart. Like if it was literally any far apart, you would see some nip slip. So that's fine. But if I was like with like my boyfriend's family or something, I like wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this in front of them. I say is I'm literally like just standing here in front of a bunch of people on the internet. Um, the bottoms are really cute. I like how you can kind of like hike them up a little bit higher. So it gives that kind of, you know, illusion of smaller waist or whatever. The back is like pretty cheeky, but only cause I like, you know, hiked it up my ass, but this is really cute. Just with how far apart this is, like it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. I would be really worried if I just went swimming that it would like something bad would happen. But the pattern is super, super cute. I really like the pattern. It's like a pink. Um, I feel like so wrong being this close up to the camera, but you know what? It's fine. We're gonna deal with it. My mom said I could turn this top around. So I'm gonna do that. See if that maybe works. Um, I turned the top around and it is literally tiny. I don't know. If things aren't strapless, I'm always worried about that it's gonna fall down. I don't know. It, like, it looks cute. It's just so tiny. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna give this like a 6 out of 10 because I wouldn't be comfortable wearing it to like different places, but that's just me, you know? But it's so cute. It's literally like the bottoms are fine. It's literally just the top and the fact that like the thing is so far apart. That's that. I'm going to actually put some clothes on now. So this sweater is called the Time Is Up sweater. It's $62 and I got a size small. And these shorts are called the Lulu Denim shorts for $43 and I also got a size small. The best way that I can like describe these shorts are it reminds me of like PacSun 
in like 2015. Does that make sense to anyone? Um, my waist, I'm usually between a like 27 and a 28 and the small fits like really, really nice. It's not like riding up my butt. Um, I feel like they're a good length. They're not too short to the point where my butt is hanging out. Just the only thing is I don't love the wash and that's obviously just my personal taste. I probably will keep these though because I literally don't own any denim shorts. I have a pair of denim shorts, but they go down to like my knees and they were jeans and I like thrifted and cut them. Whatever, I still wear them, but I don't have any like denim shorts. Insecurity gang. <laughs> I just am not really like a shorts person. I really like the way these fit. Like I said, the only thing that's not like my fave is the wash but this sweater I really freaking like this I think this would be super cute if you went to like the beach or something and like wore this over your swimming suit or if it was like fall and you just wore it it just fits really nice it has like a little bit of like an oversized fit I like how I can kind of like push it off the shoulder I think the color is like super super cute I think $43 for a pair of shorts isn't super bad. $62 for like a really nice quality sweater. I don't know. I don't want to sound stupid when I talk about price because like I said, I know not everyone can like afford stuff like that, but I really do think that fast fashion has literally like manipulated people into thinking like $10 for like a sweater or a pair of shorts is normal when it's literally not. And I also don't want to like shame people who buy stuff like that because I know not everyone can afford a $62 sweater. If you catch my drift. The fashion industry is like a very complex thing. There's a lot of, a lot of issues but i love this sweater like i would give this a solid nine out of ten i really really like it the only thing i don't love how deep the v goes but that's just my personal taste um the shorts probably like an eight out of ten i just don't love the wash but everything else the fit the quality all feels really freaking nice um next item <music> This is the Lily Tide I bucked. I have $23. I feel like that's a pretty reasonable price. Fits my head good. I love bucket hats. I think this also would be cute to wear to like the beach or like the lake or just out in general. I don't know. Bucket, bucket hats are really trendy. Next. These are the next two items. This tank top is the Loyal To Me tank top. It's $32 and I am wearing a medium slash large. The jeans I'm wearing are the Sydney High Waisted Jeans. They are $57 and I'm wearing a size small. So um, my first observation about these jeans is they fit really good. I was really nervous that they weren't going to fit. The top is like really unique. Please ignore how I tied it. I suck at that, but it doesn't have a button. It's literally just like a zipper, which is kind of cool because then you don't have to worry about any buttons. These are super, super nice. Like I said, I'm usually like a 27, 28 and they fit me really, really well. They are very like thick and sturdy, like denim material, which is nice because I am not a fan of jeans that aren't like really stiff denim, like jegging type, like stretchy stuff, just not my style. And then this top, I don't know if it's because it's too big on me, like it doesn't even seem like it's that big, but there's like a lot of like bunched up fabric right here. And I don't know if that's because this is like a medium slash large. So it's probably for people that have like bigger boobs. Cause it's like, maybe if you have bigger boobs, it's like not as stretchy. I don't, I don't know. This tank top, it just like doesn't fit me right, but it's not my size. So I can't be too mad about it. It is really, really soft. The buttons are super cute, but it's just like something about it like isn't fitting right and it just doesn't look very flattering. But then again, it's not my size. So I'm going to actually put on a different top. I don't love this. Not my size, so what can I say? I just threw on this bralette instead. Um, this bralette, this white bralette is called the Lost in Translation Bralette. Unreleased Neighborhood Song, if you know, you know. This is $27 and it's in a size small slash medium. I will say like the band kind of right like you know right here it's like a little bit tight but it is really flattering like it makes my boobs look good i know it's a bralette but i do think you could just like wear it as a top it just looks like a crop top it's really nice it really like holds you in for like an all white moment could be cute with these pants. I wish the lighting in here wasn't literally horrible. I really like these jeans. They're not necessarily my style, but I do really like them. Um, I like how it has this little belt thing so you can like cinch the waist in even more if you need to. I think the zipper is like a really cool detail. They're really stiff. If I could change anything, I would just make them a little bit longer. They hit like right above my ankles. I'm like 5'8". Jeans usually are like too short on me. So yeah, I'm gonna give these like a 7.5, 8 out of 10. I just wish they were a little bit longer but that is just my personal preference. But overall, they fit really, really nice and they are, are a really nice material, so. Okay, 
The next thing are these pink pants. Um, these kind of remind me of something that they would maybe sell at like Brandy or something. They fit really, really nice. They are kind of thin and they are a little bit sheer, which I don't love because it's like, you probably can't see. I'm wearing like a light purple underwear and you can like kind of see it through these. But like the length is really nice. It fits my waist really well. They are like a little bit stretchy, but not like too stretchy but they're also not like super super stiff um they're super cute they like make my butt look good i really like these i feel like they kind of look like a little bit retro just because of like the buttons i don't know maybe i'm just like talking out of my head but i really like these i think these would be like super cool for a photo shoot or you could just wear them like every day you know yeah i really like these i need to like look in a mirror <laughs> i've been on the hunt for pink pants for a while and i just could never find any that i liked but I really, really like these. Yeah, I think they're super cool and pretty unique. I don't know. I don't see pink pants super often. So these pink pants are called the Aiden pants. They're $62 and they're a size small. This is like a Pinterest girl fit if I ever saw one. Okay, these next pants, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of worried that they're not going to fit. I'm trying to unbutton these and I literally like cannot unbutton them. Okay, um, I got these jeans because they're very like 70s obviously with like the flare and I saw some pictures of Zendaya doing like a 70s themed shoe and just like because I saw that I was like, okay, I want them. My first observation, my fingers are literally cramping. Those were, that was so hard to button. Maybe I just have weak fingers. Second, um, the waist is like pretty big on me. I got a size medium because size small looked really small, but these are kind of stretchy, which I didn't really realize because they're like kind of stretchy. They're not like that stiff denim that I really like. I don't know, they're just too big on me. So they just like don't look flattering. And I don't really know how flattering like flare looks on me i thought even the medium might be like too small for me i don't know maybe i'm just like a little bit delusional and don't really actually know like what my body looks like but i don't know because they're stretchy like they don't look like they don't look too big well i don't even know what to give them because they don't fit me okay i'll stop like complaining about how they don't fit when i got the wrong size so see you in five years when i unbutton these So this dress has a zipper. <laughs> Come on, my fingers already hurt. This dress is called the Eyes on You dress. I have it in a size small and it is $79. My arms literally are tired. I was just sick for like 10 days. I've been like trying to work out and I literally like, I can't finish the workout because my strength gone. <sighs> uh. Oh, okay. This dress is super cute. It's not super my style. This is like what the pattern looks like up close. It's like tan and has these like white flowers with like these blue little dots. It is really cute. It is really cute. It's just not super my style. Like it's very much Aspen style. Um, the type of dresses that I like to wear are just a little bit different from this. It is really cute. It like, this kind of like cinches your waist in a little bit. You don't really like lose your waist. I also like how this has some layers. The ruffly sleeves are cute. Sometimes when sleeves are like really tight on my arms, it just kind of makes them like look bigger, I guess, because it's like really tight on my arms, you know? So yeah, this is cute. It's like a really nice material. I think this cross detail is like really nice. It's just not like particularly my style. It just reminds me of Aspen. Like, I feel like I would see this in like an Urban Outfitters and be like, hey, that looks like something Aspen would wear or maybe like free people. And it is something Aspen would wear because it's from her store and she probably has this, honestly. Maybe if I had like cute little updo and like some natural makeup. That would be cute. I'm gonna give this 7.5 out of 10. Only taking off points because it's not my style, but it's really nice, it fits really well, I'm small, it's a good length. So that is all that I had. I'm going to change back into my outfit. Taking off another 0.5, seven, because this zipper has caused me physical pain. So my final little saying, I really liked the majority of these pieces, the only ones that I didn't like, the only reason I didn't really like anything was because it either didn't fit me right or because it just wasn't particularly particularly my style. And I'm just gonna say, yeah, I'm probably a little bit biased um, because this is my sister's clothing store and I've seen like how hard her and my mom work and I'm really proud of both of them for like 
this, you know? Yeah, I don't know. A lot goes into like a clothing store business. If I didn't like something, I literally would have just said it, you know? Not every piece of clothing is going to like appeal to everyone and fit everyone perfectly. Shout out to my sister for like letting me go to Luke and Gray and take some stuff. Peace out. Let me know what your favorite item was. I will have links to everything down below. I'm pretty sure everything that I picked out is on the website. I will link everything down below. Peace out. Thanks for watching. I really need food. Mwah. Bye. I love you guys. Peace. Oh,